गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज एंड फार्माकोलॉजी ऑलवेज एम यूज मी बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ न्यू ड्रग्स कमिंग अप एवरी ईयर एंड एज एवरी ईयर वी गेट डिलेड इन ज्वाइनिंग एम डी the burden of remembering newer and newer drugs keep increasing it is slightly a uh, very vaporable subject so that is the reason hum aaj aapke sath 50 hot mnemonics revision karenge pharmacology mein chalo shuru karenge badhiya so um the first point we shall learn is pulmonary infiltration inducing drugs what are they pulmonary fibrosis you can say go ban me if a drug is not good what will you do you will try to ban it i'll try to increase the width yes now it is more clear okay now yes so bleomycin busulfan emidinon acyclovir azathioprine efer then uh, go means gold gold is very well known lot of times this question has been asked similarly nitrofurantoin melphalon methotrexate methisazide you are not going to basically forget now anti muscarinics what is their action anti muscarinics inhibits parasympathetic and sweater one way to remember which is anti muscarinic that you know epratropium pyrenzepine atropine scopolamine these are the four important drugs which are fundamentally uh, the anti muscarinics now uh, all parasympathetic post ganglionic fibers are all muscarinic doctor and generally sympathetic if you take uh, even for them especially when they are supplying sweat glands there it is once more acetylcholine now teratogenic drugs teratogenic drugs what are the major teratogenic drugs that you need to remember which are not antibiotics tap cap is a way to know so thalidomide androgens progestins corticosteroids aspirin indomethacin phenytoin we have to invariably mark these facts now doctor steroids what are the side effects of uh, the steroids is a favorite question of the examiner so you should be very sure that cataracts you can remember cushingoid when there is excess steroid it lead to cushingoid right so cataracts ulcers the skin will show thinning hypertension one of the very common cause for the hypertension often we ignore is someone who is taking steroids h for hirsutism hyperglycemia infections a vascular necrosis of the femur very commonly asked steroids also lead to glycosuria steroid induced osteoporosis and fractures immunosuppression diabetes all these facts you need to basically remember now comes the beta blocker beta blocker beta blockers uh typically you need to remember what is the dose adjustment that you need to do with the beta blockers sip 2d6 polymorphic metabolism will affect the beta blockers so 
metoprolol, timolol, carvedilol. So uh, these are the things that are metabolized by CYP2D6 is a point that you need to remember. Now, uh, what are the beta blockers with uh, intrinsic sympathomimetic activity? Oh my God. So you need to remember what are those with intrinsic sympathomimetic activity. Pindalol and Cartiolol are the ones which have a very high intrinsic sympathomimetic activity is what you have to basically remember and uh, Pindalol and Cartiolol they are made acceptable for the use in some diabetics or asthmatics even though they are non-selective beta blockers primarily because of their intrinsic sympathomimetic activity that's the point you need to remember now comes the muscarinic effects of this muscarinic if the muscarinic receptors are stimulated what will happen slumban that is salivation secretion sweating that is the reason uh, uh, if you take uh, organophosphor poisoning what will happen in organophosphor poisoning doctor let's come into uh, let us try to understand what happens organophosphors organophosphors they are the inhibitors of acetylcholine esterases right which break down the acetylcholine so if cholinesterase is inhibited what do you get excess acetylcholine that is the reason if you see a organophosphor poisoning patient who has taken uh, insecticides what do you how will he present typically acetylcholine will lead to increased secretions increased sweating increased detrazar activity that is the reason patient will be passing the urine in his clothes he will be hyper salivating and excessive perspiration that is always the effect of excess acetylcholine because of its action on the muscarinic receptors is what you have to remember now doctor anti now let us look into what is the effect of uh, the muscarinic salivation secretions sweating lacrimation urination gi upset bradycardia bronchoconstriction bowel movement become excessive he will pass stool in the uh, clothes organophosphor patient there is a meiosis because of that and uh, who is the antagonist of muscarinic atropin atropin lead to midriasis excess acetylcholine lead to meiosis and abdominal cramps so these are all the important features once more excess acetylcholine lead to bradycardia Whereas atropin, its antagonist will lead to, once more, it will bring back, it will increase the heart rate. That is the reason we give atropin in the management of the patients who are having uh, um, complete heart block in order to revert them into sinus rhythm. We basically give, um, when they have severe bradycardia, we give atropin is what you have to remember. Now, we need to know about sulfonamides, certain sweet things about sulfonamides. Steven Johnson, sulfonamide. Skin rash, sulfonamide. Sulfonamide has a low solubility, that's the reason crystalluria. Sulfonamide displaces the bilirubin from the albumin. So that is the reason newborn will develop carnicterus if you happen to give sulfonamide is what you have to remember. Now, doctor, it is the epilepsy drugs. Now, what is the drug of choice? 
is the favorite question of the examiner always a favorite question and uh, we tend to not uh, make a method to reflexly remember them so let us let us let us create a method to remember them so uh, if you take the various uh, uh, various drugs anti epileptic drugs you can remember myoclonic grand mal grand mal then you are having uh, atonic atonic then very important to remember west syndrome west syndrome focal and petit mal petit mal petit mal ko kehte hain absence absence exam hall mein without tension answer karna hai myoclonic valproate myoclonic valproate then for the grand mal we use valproate atonic we use valproate west syndrome very favorite mcq of examiner we use acdh acdh focal seizures we use carbamazepine carbamazepine and uh, for the petit mal absence seizures we use etosuximide etosuximide isme tension nahi rahe na babu ji dr babu isme tension nahi rahe na perfectly barabar answer karna got it now doctor let us uh, continue our journey, journey. quinolones quinolones what do you remember quinolones quinolones you should remember uh that topple the queen topple the queen is the way to remember so quinolone interferes with topo isomerase 2 that's what you should uh, be able to remember and uh, reproduce and recall now now comes the most important uh, story doctor which are beta 1 selective which are beta 1 beta 2 non selective favorite question of the examiner so let us develop a way by which we will be able to remember remember a through n alphabet a through n a b c d f g h i j k l m n acid butylol ethanol ismolol metoprolol they are all beta 1 selective remember o through z o p q r s t u v w x y z they are non selective pindalol propranolol and timolol they are basically non selective now doctor ribavirin what are the indications for ribavirin now ribavirin rsv influenza b arena viruses for all of them we use the ribavirin so what is a hypertension management a b c d a is as inhibitors angiotensin 2 antagonists b is beta blockers c is calcium antagonists d are the diuretics is what you need to basically remember now comes a very interesting question hey what happened calcium channel blockers you need to remember ca++ mash in subarachnoid hemorrhage to prevent cerebral vasospasm we use nimodipine congestive heart failure you have to be careful to give the calcium channel blockers they can worsen it vasospastic angina we give verapamil and uh, migraine there is a role for calcium blockers atrial flutter and fibrillation they being antiarrhythmic calcium channel blockers we give it supraventricular tachycardias 
in those days where adenosine was not there calcium channel blockers and of course hypertension depin 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 tablet dete na denied that's right so depin tablet now what are the disulfiram like reaction inducing drugs this one is their favorite question of the examiner bachcho procarbazine metronidazole and sifo what sifo sifoperazone sifomandol sifotitan all of them you need to remember for the disulfiram no nope. now doctor morphine you suck so morphine morphine really sucks what are the effects of morphine miasis miasis sedation respiratory depression pneumonia hypotension infrequency constipation urinary retention nausea emesis there are all the effects it is the meiosis that it typically will be leading to now comes the therapeutic dosage and when do you get the toxicity get over here yes now tell me doctor digitalis 0.15 to 1.5 Lithium point six to one point two, theophylline ten to twenty, phenytoin ten to twenty, acetaminophen one to thirty. So please don't forget this magic number two. Digital is point five to one point five means it is two toxicity. Lithium point six to one point two means toxicity is two. Theophylline ten to twenty toxicity is twenty. Phenytoin ten to twenty is the serum level toxicity is twenty. And acetaminophen, it is two hundred and above. Is the toxicity is what you should remember. Toasty. Ha! Gay. Now, doctor, diuretics. Let's talk about it. So, what are the indications for thiazides? Chick to use thiazides. C H F hypertension, diabetes insipidus, and calcium calculi. So you should remember that these are all the scenarios where thiazides are basically indicated. Now, migraine. What are the prophylaxis of migraine, doctor? <laughs> Yay! Now, migraine. Please remember, verapamil. Valproin, pisotifen, emitriptylin, flunarazin, methicillin, propranolol is something which you should not basically forget. Now, I was talking about the thiazides, right? In the thiazides, there is often a very important confusion which you need to understand. If you take the thiazides, doctor. Thiazides. What is the uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, yeah yes. So if you take thiazides, uh, yes. Uh, what is the uh, effect of thiazides? Thiazides are all diuretics. In first place, thiazides are all diuretics. But what is the challenge here? They are used in diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus क्या है? वो भी diuretic state है. तो the thiazides are diuretic. Still, you will be using them in the diuretic state. That is the whole challenge that you need to remember in this given. Uh, Uh, MCQ, okay. But why thiazides? So they are diuretic. Why they are used in diabetes insipidus? Is के लिए जरा लंबा चर्चा करना पड़ता. Already we have done that in our uh, pharmacology on the online MBBS dot com. Online MBBS dot com. You have pharmacology video library. In that we have discussed around twelve hundred hot MCQs. Last fifteen years. 
of neat pg and all india so please review the try to do a revision around 30 hours we have discussed all these 1200 hot mcqs in uh, uh, divided into around 50 topics in that we have discussed all the logic doctor no worries right now let's quickly go to the story of uh, uh, what are the important indications for the diuretics thiazide diuretics you should be quite sure about it chf hypertension diabetes insipidus calcium calcline is what you need to remember why calcium calcline that is one uh, important uh, point you should understand whenever there is a hypercalciuric state you should remember whenever there is a hypercalciuric state um, hypercalcuria hypercalcuria can lead to uh, the development of calcium stones so if you want to decrease this hypercalciuria the best way is if you give thiazides thiazides retain calcium retain calcium so that's how they will prevent the calciuria hypercalciuria and that is how they can help in the people who have a calcium stones renal calculi because of the hypercalciuria is what you have to ultimately remember now doctors coming back to our story adrenoceptors adrenoceptors uh, yeah so adrenoceptors how do they basically act so you should remember that a b c d alpha adrenoceptors constrict beta adrenoceptors dilate please don't forget this very very important fact doctor alpha constrict beta dilate is what you should remember now the most important challenge anti-arrhythmics and their classification Clyde. one to four mba college m is membrane stabilizers all class 1 drugs b mba right so beta blockers beta blockers then class 3 they are the action potential widening agents widening agents then calcium channel blockers so that is how you can classify the anti arrhythmics now doctor opioids Opioids, meiosis, dependency, constipation, analgesics, respiratory depression, euphoria, sedation, they are all the classical mu receptor effects of the opioids. Favorite MCQ in the entrance. Now, doctor, what are the various cancer drugs, time of action between DNA to mRNA? You should remember. A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, A is alkylating agents, B, bleomycin, C, cisplatin. Dactinomycin, etoposide, flutamide. So, from DNA to mRNA, these are the cancer drugs and their time of action. Now, Doc, busulfan. What are the features of busulfan? Yes, A, B, C, D, E, F about busulfan. Busulfan is an alkylating agent. Busulfan lead to bone marrow suppression. Busulfan is needed for CML. Busulfan lead to dark skin hyperpigmentation. Busulfan lead to endocrine insufficiency, adrenal insufficiency. Busulfan lead to pulmonary fibrosis. A, B, C, D, E, F about the busulfan. Now, 
The next thing is tricyclic antidepressants. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> yes. A depressed father will tell you, hey man, dinner, D&D, do not disturb me. Please don't call me, he will say. He will say, I think that all my corruption will be known and CIA is going to catch me. So remember CIA, D&D, clomipramine, imipramine, emitriptyline, desipramine, nortriptyline, doxepin, they are all called tricyclic antidepressants. Now, doctor, Torse de pointers. What drugs lead to torse de pointers? Examiner will put a gun on your temple and ask you, tell me what are the torse de pointers drugs? <laughs> yes, you should tell Apache. Apache Indians are there, no? Emidaron, Prokinemide, Arsenium, Cisapride, Haloperidol, Erythromycin. Emidaron, Prokinemide, Arsenium, Cisapride, Haloperidol, Erythromycin, Apache lead to torsidis pointers. Now, serotonin syndrome, what are the components of the serotonin syndrome? You can remember harm. Hyperthermia, serotonin syndrome may. Autonomic instability. There is a rigidity, myoclonus, they are all the ones which lead to, which are the important effects you need to remember in relation to the, uh, to the uh, serotonin syndrome. Very good doctor. I thought uh, how many of you will be coming to the live? Just like me, I don't have any other work. My only work is to study along with you guys. You two don't have any other work but to only study for the NEET PG. Very good. Good combination. Hum be jobless. Aap be jobless. Hum sab baita ke mil ke padai karenge. Tetracycline is a teratogeny. Te teratogen because it stains the teeth in the newborn. PDA. Come in and close the door. In boleto indomethacin. Indomethacin is used to close the PDA. Come in and close the door. Indomethacin to close the PDA. Achha bhaiya, physostigmin versus neostigmin. Examiner is going to definitely ask you a MCQ on this. Right. So, lipid soluble, neotic, natural, natural is hota hai, physostigmin, orally absorbed very well is physostigmin, whereas neostigmin, water soluble, used in myasthenia, it is synthetic and a poor oral absorption is neostigmin, physostigmin, neostigmin, favorite question. Now comes... Beta 1 selective blockers kya hota hai? Remember beam. So what is beam? Beam is internet hota hai. Beam, beam internet is very famous. You can remember beam 1. Beta 1 blockers are esmolol, etanolol, metaprolol is what you have to remember. Now, what are the disease modifying members in the anti rheumatic agents? Remember, CHAM, cyclophosphamide, hydroxychloroquine, oranophine, which is gold, methotrexate, penicillamine, esopco, demar dibolte, that is disease modifying agents. Now, Antiarrhythmics of class 3, what are they? Remember bias. Bretelium, ibutylide, emeteron, sotalol are the antiarrhythmics of class 3. Now, what are the indications for MAVO inhibitors? MAVO inhibitors. MAVO inhibitors. Kaha istemal karte? 
when you have a deep sadness unexplained sadness inside melancholic melancholic hota hai atypical depression for atypical depression you use mavo inhibitors a is anxiety o is obesity anorexia and bulimia imagined illness hypochondria mavo inhibitors social phobias mavo inhibitors is what you need to remember now doctor sidh inducing drugs now you can remember abcd once more analgesics that is opioids and then sides can lead to sidh barbiturates sidh cyclophosphamide chlorpromazine carbamazepine sidh thiazide diuretics can lead to sidh that is what you should remember now doctor hyperkalemia can become disastrously hyperkalemia if you happen to use a, a combination of drugs what are they suppose a potassium sparing diuretic you have given to a hypertensive patient let us say you also have given beta blocker ac inhibitor also and because granima is having the joint pains you have given nsaid and since uh, she had a little bit of diarrhea she started using k plus supplement also so if you combine all this no severe hyperkalemia it is a prescription to go to heaven now doctor reserpine reserpine depletes the reserves of catecholamines and serotonin how does reserpine act as an antihypertensive it will deplete the catecholamines in the neurosynapses is what you should remember now what is beta blocker side effects bbc loses the viewers in russia b is bradycardia bronchoconstriction claudication hyperlipidemia vivid dreams especially propranolol like agents they can cross the cns membrane leading to nightmares and vivid dreams negative inotropic action and they reduce the sensitivity to hypoglycemia now doctor cisplatin what is the major effect of it splat splat means vomiting major side effect is vomiting major side effect is vomiting and uh, it goes into the dna strand cisplatin in na in in it goes into the dna strand cisplatin is uh, the one how what is the mechanism of cisplatin basically it makes the dna strand may gadbad kar dega now phenobarbital what are the side effects in the case of children they are annoying in the adults they become drowsy so hyperkinesia irritability insomnia aggression are the features of phenobarbital if you use in children in adults they make them sedate giddiness and uh, drowsiness prajosin why do you use prajosin prajosin is pras your urine therefore prajosin is used whenever there is a urinary retention in bph in order to relieve that bladder outlet obstruction you use the prajosin now what are the opioids effects doctor opioids lead to bradycardia hypotension anorexia diminished pupillary size meiosis analgesics euphoria respiratory depression increased smooth muscle activity pain hai bolke opioid diye to already patient ko biliary spasm hai to it can worsen similarly constipation they will ameliorate the cough reflex isliye a lot of cough syrups me codeine and all that opioids nausea vomiting sedation now what are the side effects of the phenytoin doctor now hirsutism enlarged gums p450 interactions nystagmus yellow browning of the skin 
Teratogenicity, very important. They lead to osteomalacia. Phenytoin lead to osteomalacia. And interference with the vitamin B12 metabolism. It leads to neuropathies, vertigo, ataxia, headache. That is our phenytoin is what you should remember. So what are the narcotic antagonists, doctor? I got a bad feeling about this. Naloxone, naltrexone, they are the narcotic antagonists. Then Jafir Lukas, Gilutan, which is the inhibitor of the lipoxygenase, lipoxygenase, oh, bada hai, oh, bohut bada hai. Gilutan may be, oh, hai na, is liye. Jafir Lukas may ye hai antagonist. Lukast may LT hai leukotrain. It is antagonist of leukotrain. What are the side effects of anticholinergics? They are called ABCDs. Anorexia, blood revision, constipation, confusion, dry mouth, sedation, stasis of the urine. That is the reason always what is the important rule in an organophosphor poisoning before you give, before you give atropine. What you should do, doctor? Before you give atropine, let me explain you one very, very important clinical practice point here. Very important clinical practice point. Yes. Now, the clinical practice point here is... If you give atropine, right, it will make the bladder, the bladder detrusor become weak, that lead to urinary stasis and retention. But you have to give atropine in case of OP poisoning, OP poisoning, agreed? So that is the reason, before giving atropine only, you have to pass the Foley catheter. If you don't do that, if you don't pass Foley catheter and give atropine, it leads to bladder retention, point number one. One more thing, atropine will make the sphincter, urethral sphincter very tight and you, very difficult to pass Foley if already atropinized to the patient. That's the reason always, first Foley, then atropine, not first atropine. That is a very important practice point that you need to remember. Now, doctor, the next question, next important uh, mnemonic for you to become the experts. 50 top mnemonics you should remember. Bleomycin, what are the important uh, side effects? Side effects of bleomycin. Bleomycin blows my DNA into small bits. So, bleomycin fragments the DNA and that is the reason used in the cancer. Aspirin ka side effects, how will you remember? Aspirin side effects, asthma, salicylism, peptic ulcer, then oxidation, phosphorylation, uncoupling. That is the reason whenever oxidation, phosphorylation in the electron transport chain is uncoupled, what will happen? When the electron is passing, no, all that energy become released as heat and uh, aspirin should be remembered because when you give aspirin, then the patient will develop a uh, uh, very high temperature, hyperthermia mein jate hai, toxicity mein, that is very important. Then aspirin, postpartum hemorrhage, platelet disaggregation, premature closure of PDA, it lead to intestinal blood loss and very important. In a case of viral infection, if you happen to do aspirin, it can lead to fulminant hepatic failure, which is called Reis' syndrome. And there is a tinnitus. Aspirin, tinnitus uh, is one of the important uh, findings of salicylism. Whenever aspirin toxicity is there, is what you should remember. Then, doctor, what are the drugs which are used, which when used, lead to development of lupus, lupus. Three drugs you should remember, hydralazine, INH, procainamide. How does vigabatrin basically function? Vigabatrin, GABA transferase inhibition, 
GABA transferase inhibition. That is what bigabatrin will be doing. Morphine, what is the effect of it on mu receptor? PR, physical dependence, euphoria, analgesia, respiratory depression. Now, inoxaparine. So, inoxaparine is the prototype for the low molecular weight heparin. If you are giving inoxaparin, remember xaparin, XA, it only acts on factor 10A. That's the reason you need not to monitor APDT. What you need to monitor is only 10A concentration, but not always you need to monitor that. Beta 1 versus beta 2, beta 1, dil ke upar, beta 2, lungs ke upar, kyunki Bhagwan ne do lung diya. It acts on lungs and uh, beta 2 stimulation lead to bronchodilatation. Beta 1, only one heart God gave. That's the reason it acts on the heart. Then what are the side effects of SSRI? Serotonin syndrome stimulates CNS. Reproductive dysfunction in male, very important. And insomnia is what you should remember. Now, doctor, which drugs liye to depression hoga? Yes, five drugs, doctor, depression, propranolol, reserpine, OCPs, methyl dopa, steroids. These are the 50 hot, hot issues in uh, pharmacology, doctor. Hope you are all enjoyed uh, the preparation and uh, uh, watching this video. I am quite sure. So, what I like to tell you is, energy. We need to have energy while preparing and we should have synergy. Synergy means char panch dost ke saath baitna or fat 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 revision karna, focused content revision karna. What examiner asked that you need to basically uh, have the focus to do the revision. So I like to tell you guys please post the below need PG WhatsApp study group invitation. If you have not yet joined in our WhatsApp group, please do join. Also, please post the WhatsApp study group link, which has been given down in your uh, classmates and uh, roommates, your seniors, juniors, sabko, sabko post karna, taki they will be also be able to get the advantage. And you post it and send the screenshot. We send you 120 pages PDF of the Orthopedics Need PG Notes. Also, subscribe to onlinembbs.com video library. 600 hours of video lectures. 2 lakh PowerPoint slides notes. 30,000 MCQs are discussed. 953 high yield topics. Full scale grant test and discussion every week. Every day new video lectures are added and live online interactive broadcast discussions are included. Call 9000-868-356. Why to wait? Next three months ke liye subscription lena and uh, you have a enormous knowledge available in order to make your preparation energetic. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to share the WhatsApp study group link invitation in all the groups that you know. Thank you very much.